Hi, welcome everyone. My name is Jay Shankar from Samsung Electronics, Technical Associate Director of Engineering. Along with me, Zarun, Sharanya, Sango, and Lakshmi Narayana are being part of this presentation. This presentation is on Python with computational storage, covering how Python can be interfaced with the computational storage devices. In our agenda for today, we have Samsung Computational Storage Device, Smart SSD, Software Stack for Computational Storage Drive, How Python can be interfaced to the Computational Storage using Python CS Library, High Level de de Details on Design Aspect of Python CS Library. Then we will be moving with Use Cases of Python CS Library. Firstly, we will be looking at a unit test framework for computation storage device testing. Then a real-time application integration proof of concept done with the geolocator using Postgres SQL. Finally, we'll be talking about what is next in this area from our side. Let's get started. Samsung Smart SSD is a second generation Smart SSD based on NVMe standards in development, just TP4091. In nutshell, Computation Storage Drive is an NVMe disk capable of compute and storage together. Samsung Smart SSD is a computation storage drive which has the capability of persistent data storage plus computation. This hardware having acceleration engines, ARM processors and FPGA. Device having SLM which is subsystem local memory. When we see local memory, they are not mapped in the host primary address space but can be allocated and used by applications through following SNIA CS API definitions. We will be talking more about SNIA CS API definitions in upcoming slides. This device is also has an operating system which is responsible for monitoring and management of resources in drive. From an hardware standpoint, the device is a PCI Gen4 capable and device supports NVMe 2.0 as a base spec. Smart SSD enables moving compute to the data or we call near storage access by not moving the data beyond device boundary and get the processing done inside the device itself. This helps not just relinquish the CPU cycles due to offloading the compute operations. It also reduces the mem copy operations between the host and drive controller for processing data which resides inside the drive. Overall, this results in achieving significant performance boost from application perspective. From a software stack for computation storage drive has been evolving some time. SNIA defining computational storage APIs, which abstracts the device type to the host and provide a unified window to discover, configure, and execute. CS APIs are agnostics to the underlying hardware and operating system which run on top of it. From NVMe side, we have TP4091 defines the command set to support computation operation under NVMe namespace. The CS software stack application utilizes NIA defined CS API library. The spec is still work in progress. Beneath the API layer, there is a CS plugin, essentially converts the required operations to NVMe commands and sends through the NVMe device driver. In PCIe layer, it uses the legacy transportation mechanism. Under CSD hardware, each CSD typically can have multiple CSF, which is compute storage function and single storage flash device. It's not necessarily this should be the case, but it is limited due to the 
power requirement in the PCI interface. CSD's storage accepts NVMe commands and data movement between the storage to compute functions are key to eliminate host memory copy. This has been followed from the NVMe TP4031 specification. Also, NVMe CLI support getting enabled with all the NVMe CS command sets. Python interface with uh, computational storage drive. Why Python? Querying and analyzing data quickly with top accuracy is a widespread need in the modern data applications. Business intelligence and data analytics have grown rapidly over recent years. Use of unstructured data and high data volume and complexity in analytics have changed the landscape of our businesses. As majority of the industry applications in AI ML space implemented through fourth generation programming languages. Python has emerged as a go-to language for the industry in the space. The popularity of Python is majorly due to the debuggability. If you see the left side of the slide, you can see the recent industry trends for Python leading in demand. It is also because of the problem solving capacity through Python is comparatively easier. So in this context, if industry has to adapt with computation storage quickly, we need to have a readily available ecosystem which can allow the existing applications to easily integrate with computation storage devices. The figure on the right side depicts how Python can be interfaced with uh, computational storage devices. As I mentioned earlier, the Python library interface with SNIA CS library and provide all the necessary ingredients to have seamless operations of computation storage. Let's look at Python library a bit more in detail. Python CS library realized using C type module. C types is a foreign function library for Python. It provides C compatible data types and allows calling functions in DLLs or shared libraries. It can be used to wrap these libraries in pure Python. C types exports the CDLL for loading dynamic link libraries. User loads the libraries by accessing them as attributes of these objects. CDLL loads libraries which export functions using the standard CDECL calling convention. The compiled shared object .so version of a source code is read by the Python making it callable. The objects, structures and the other return types that are defined in the CPP based CS library also must be replicated in the Python. The CS Python library gives the user the flexibility to create multiple devices handles to access multiple CSDs. Thus, we achieve the parallelism. From an implementation side, the library follows object oriented programming concepts where all the CS APIs will be represented inside the class com storage. Supporting methods inside helper and definitions.py will hold all the definitions of structures and other memory types. Each object may re refer to a CS device or a device handle. Each object of the class com storage shares all the CS APIs defined. The .so file once loaded into Python memory space will be available as a CDLL or dynamically loaded library. All functionalities and other attributes of source loaded library is now available with Python. Helper is a supporting class of com storage which has all the supporting methods to implement CS APIs in Python. For example, 
it has methods like create string buffer which internally is a c types method returns buffer for the input value in ascii also load library is a method to load the dot so file as a cdll into python as uh, discussed earlier definitions.py may contains all the declarations and definitions used in the implementation as per snia cs api definitions for example cs status is a python dictionary which has all the written codes that can come from this nia cs api library apart from the written codes input output structures are also defined here as a form of classes finally a custom logger module is also defined which dumps all the required logs into the directed folders as and when the framework is getting invoked and executed in development we follow pep8 coding standards and nomenclatures for all the structures apis and other definitions are kept as same as snia cs library for uh, synchronization now come to the use of python based cs api library the first use case or the usage is to build a unit test framework for computational storage devices which helps validate and verify functionalities of computational storage devices using this nia cs api library this uses python unit test framework the framework has test cases covering all this nia cs api list which are from a functional and non functional test case aspects as the spec is still in work in progress high level we can have 11 areas to cover in the snia cs api library those are discovery which is covering querying cs devices in the system access covering initializing or tearing the device through open csx or closed csx api calls fdm management is slm or memory management for allocating or freeing up inside the device storage io is the uh, io request to and fro from the storage devices q copy mem request is to copy the data between host memory and the fdm in the direction as requested csf scheduling to identify the csf details and assign the computer operations associated to it batch scheduling used for add free create to batch schedule the operations event management is for delete pull the events comes to management it's a long list of operations majorly which helps to get the details of computational storage device such as properties and perform operations downloadable compute to the csds and configure the same stream management is to create and allocate tree stream library management is to deal with the cs plugins such as registration of plugin find the details of the plugin capabilities which is already registered and so forth finally from an framework standpoint the execution logs are captured as a report this unit test framework with sanity suite will help the end user to validate the targeted computational storage device such as csps and csa and csds now next use cases from a geo locator using postgres sql this has been implemented inside the smart ssd so in the left side we can see the flow of application where the application has connectivity through the postgres plugins to the database database resides inside the nvme storage of smart ssd 
the operations which are rendered through this applications or the compute which is offloaded to the smart SSD is only for the select operation. For all other operations, application will be or database will be directly uh, dealing with the NVMe storage as a legacy flow. So in here, the example, the right side, you can see the sample data or database which is of the city details, name, latitude, longitude, and country with the population. It's a sample database. And the idea here is when the table is being loaded to the application, the smart SSD also able to create the table and able to run the select queries on the data which is reside inside the NVMe storage of smart SSD. So there are two examples given. The first one is to find out the city details, which is near to Earth equator, more people more than X numbers living within the cities. And the right one to calculate the point to point distance between Los Angeles and to the near cities in meters. So this computation, as I said, is been rendered here. The role of Python CS library here is to monitor the operations inside the smart SSD, such as the resources and the computational function execution status and so forth. So the data path is coming through the PostgreSQL SQL plugin, where the monitoring is rendered through the CS library API. So this is Python and so the application is easily able to integrate with the uh, complete ecosystem to get the best out of it. Moving to our last slide. What's next? Python CS library performance tuning is one of the key areas we are looking at it. Currently the overhead which introduced by the python layer is little less than 10 percent from the overall stack and we would like to further reduce it down to some five percent to ten percent whatever possible and we also wanted to add more unit test coverage for all the csx flow as per the SNIA cs api definitions hope this is informative and thank you for watching us.